let's see what perfect numbers are. If all the factors of a number, except the number itself, add up to the number itself, it is a perfect number. Let's try to understand this using an example. Consider 6. So what we have to do is we have to first consider all the factors of 6. What are the factors of 6? 1, 2, 3, 6. Factors means all the numbers that can divide 6. So that's why the factors are 1, 2, 3 and 6. But we have to consider all the factors except that number itself. So we have to exclude 6. We will not consider 6. Now let's add the remaining factors. That means 1 plus 2 plus 3. That equals 6. So the sum is equal to the number itself. That means 6 is a perfect number. Can you think of any other perfect number? 10, 20, what can be the next perfect number? The next perfect number is 28. Let's see all the factors of 28. 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28 itself. But we don't want to take 28 into consideration. So let's exclude that and let's add all the other factors. So 1 plus 2 equals 3, 3 plus 4 equals 7, 7 plus 7 equals 14 and 14 plus 14 equals 28. So the sum is 28. That means 28 is a perfect number. Now what would be the next perfect number? Can it be 50? Let's consider 50. So here are all the factors of 50. 1, 2, 5, 10, 25 and 50. But we don't want to take 50 for the addition. So let's exclude that. And let's add all the other factors. So 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 10 plus 25 equals 43. And 43 is not 50. That means it is not a perfect number. So like this, if you keep on looking at uh, factors of different numbers, you can check 80 or 100 or 200. And you will be surprised that the next perfect number is actually pretty big. It is 496 and the next perfect number, the one after 496 is even bigger. It is 8128. Wow, that's a big gap. So who has come up with these perfect numbers? There was an ancient Greek mathematician. His name was Euclid. He came up with this idea of perfect numbers. Now, if you look at all the perfect numbers you have seen so far, which are 6, 28, 496 and 8128, what do you see here? How are all these numbers? All these numbers are even numbers. So, is there any odd number which is a perfect number? The funny thing is that it is not known if there are any odd perfect numbers. That means we do not know if there are any perfect numbers which are odd numbers. That is not known yet. So this is something you can explore. You can take this challenge and try to find if you can come up with any odd number which is a perfect number. So if you can find such a number, that will be something big in mathematics. So give it a try.